Oh my god, Green Grocer is back with some more adventures! Now, if you would stop screaming, that would be wonderful. Greetings everybody, my name is Crims and we're back with Krim Grosen, the Orc Green Jesus. We're here in the Imperial City and we're gonna begin this episode by visiting some shops and try to sell some of the loot we found in the last two episodes. And uh, now it is open and we can head inside and begin the bargaining. And before we do that, I just need to start my timer so we don't go for like one hour. And um, let's see, they're looking pretty suspicious Susp at me. And this guy, Maro Rufus. The best defense. That's me, Maro Rufus. Light armor, the very best. <laughs> light armor? Wait a second, then it would be nice if I sell my light armor to you. Not smart to carry around broken equipment. Nope. Uh, I guess it's pretty damn cheap to, re to repair just one septum for each. So let's just repair all of them for 26 gold. And by that, Armor, it will be worth more when we sell it. it all. How may I help you? You can take this Pleasure shit, doing... this shit, this one. Wait a second. Before we do that, we can also go into haggle and increase how much we're going to sell it. Because right now we are selling at 41% of the value. It says right here. And... Um, Let's see. Wait a second. Am I buying from him? Oh shit. Did I do that? I'm so stupid. All right. But let's see. We could like sell it for 45% instead. <sighs> well, that was not a very good beginning, I guess. Uh, here we go. This is what I want. I would like to sell these. Now, one thing I do like about Morrowind compared to this when you sell equipment is that you can just press and hold shift and then click on the equipment and you will sell it right away instead of clicking yes all the time and from what I know there is no other way to do this you just have to click yes all the time and the game froze never mind <laughs> I got pretty damn scared there <coughs> All right, let's just continue. You drive a hard bargain. I do. Well, maybe we can increase that a little bit. I and mean, uh, let's see, forty-seven percent. And also, uh, I need to show something right away. Look at this. That's more than I usually pay. I don't pay anything for this artwork. This is a fan-made artwork about Krim Grossen saying "fucking torch," made by Mr. Spoofy my good in real life friend so thanks and a lot of shout outs to him for doing that i'm gonna link to his channel in the description hopefully if i don't forget and yes uh, it's amazing that he did that so let's see should we sell anything else to him um we're gonna sell the weapons at the weapon shop most likely and these at the normal mercenaries or i mean merchants so let's see what do you have for sale Nothing that we would like. Tell your friends about me. Maybe I won't, but you might give me some rumors. I understand money is tight, but buying discount spells seems like a bad idea. And what would you know about that? You're just wearing armor. No, I'm not. Don't say you two. I don't even like that band. I was kidding. I'm Fernando. I handle the heavy armor at the best defense. I'm also an advanced trainer in heavy armor, so I know what I'm talking about. All right, um, let's You've see. You've got a lot to learn. But I don't want any damn armors. Armor weapons, I have it all. How may I help you? Holy shit, he has an armor worth 40k. And it has some buffs, but also some negative things about it. And the negative things are like, they weigh more than the good things. So this guy really sucks, but he has some reinforced. He has steel, iron, whatever. Not gonna take that shit, and we don't even have any heavy armor to sell. And he doesn't like me, so you know what? Farewell. Yeah, just never again. All right, then let's go to Slash and Smash. That sounds like my store. And most likely there is an orc. Yep, I knew it, my bro. You see, his name is also Grow in the middle because he's male. Herbal Grow Orkle, 
knows you need axes and blunt weapons. Big one. Nope. So he makes them and sells them here. He also talks in third person. Slash and smash. The big orc weapon shop. Big weapons for big heroes. Oh, you mean like your butcher, Diablo, and oh no, Armor. never mind. Weapons. I have it all. Two-handed steel plated mauler. Blue ruby dagger. Wow, you have a lot of shit here. You even have armor. But we would like to sell the silver short sword. Wait a second, we might actually keep that. Because that's the only way we can attack ghosts. Uh, physically. Is with a silver weapon or enchanted or daedric. And we can't use our fists against ghosts. So we will keep that just in case there is a ghost we will need to kill. Um, let's see. The iron bow we can sell. I'm not gonna need that. We have the bitch wood bow. And iron dagger. Nope. Sell that. And uh, I guess that should be it. Thank you. Come again. No, wait. I also Armor, want to see what weapons. you're selling right away. I have it all. I mean, again. How may I help you? Just shut up, unfinished dreamer. Queries. Queries. I still don't know how to pronounce that. <laughs> Uh, we could buy some arrows, but we do have uh, plenty, so... Nope. Thank you, sir, but I don't need your shit. You can tell me some rumors. Samuel Bentian used to be able to pick any lock in the city. He settled down now, though. Mm-hmm. All right. Farewell. Goodbye, good sir. Now, let's see. What else would we like to do? Divine elegance. Uh... Most likely rarity works in there. We don't need to disturb her. Discount spells, so they told me not to Hello do there. that. What is it now? What's going on with you? I saw some mud crabs by the water recently. I steered clear of them. Ha, <laughs> of I course you did. Staffs. What's going on with you? Oh, you're so talkative, everybody. That's so nice. Hmm. Black horse courier, nope. Uh, hello. I'm listening. Uh, yeah, you can keep on doing that, but I'm not gonna talk. To read today's Black Horse Courier. Well, what's that about? Have a copy of the Black Horse Courier. It's the only way to get the real news. Feature story on the Gray Fox. <gasps> Who's the Gray Fox? Would you like to tell Here's me? A copy of the Black Horse I don't need Courier. another one. Did you give me two? All right, he gave me two of them, but different. Grey Fox, I don't give shits. Manor Myth, nope. Gonna read that later, but we got some XP for it. Yes, shut up! We need to sell some merchandise to this person. Hey. Feel free to browse, friend. It's nice to see a new shopper. I was afraid I lost any hope of new business ever since Thorinir opened up. Thorinir? What about him? I think you might be just the kind of person we're looking for. Hmm? Perhaps you can assist us with a problem we're having here in the Market District. And what would that be? <laughs> Maybe later. Uh, right, start from the beginning. I'm the chairperson for the Society of Concerned Merchants. We formed this group a while back to keep a nice, fair economic balance in town. Mm-hmm. Not every store is a member, but we're slowly trying to convince them to join. Everything was fine until Thorinir opened his shop nearby. And it's called? Selling all sorts of merchandise, he undercuts prices like you wouldn't believe. <gasps> he doesn't always sell what we sell, but it is still a problem. Hmm. People who buy tend to want to spend their money there. That leaves none for us. It's getting so bad, a few of us may have to close up shop. Hmm. He outright refuses to join the society or even discuss the matter. We are convinced he's up to no good. Maybe you guys suck! What we need is for you to case his establishment and figure out where he gets his inventory. Find some proof of his wrongdoing and let us know. Sounds like somebody's we jealous. We ourselves as he recognizes all of us. The job pays a fair bounty in gold when he is brought to justice. Wow. <sighs> You are crazy! What if he is just amazing? What if he just I'll can't do this without being illegal? For the right price. You're just jealous! You suck! She has a warblade, look at that, holy crap! It damaged all three 
uh, you know, stats, no uh, health things on every strike for 33 times. Mm-hmm. You have some exquisite ceramic goblet. All right. Guide to Anvil. Right, that would be interesting, actually. So we can read about that town before we get there. But we're not going to be there for a while. Maybe. Let's just get it. Now, I want to sell something to you, girl. And you don't like me so much, so maybe we should keep it at, like, 45. Mm, I don't need any more pants. I only need my green pants. I give, a, I give them away. I don't want to do that. Do I have to? Really, now? I have to give away my pants. <sighs> you know what? You, you're not even a good seller. <sighs> Fuck yeah, this will bring some havoc. It's still going. Uh, ale. You want some ale? Take some ale. Mead. I don't want that shit. It makes me... You got a great deal there. Alright. Potion of healing. We will keep that. That might be useful. But we do have the light magic from illusion, so... I don't know. Uh, poison can be good, but just 5 endurance for 15 seconds. Not very good. We need the gold instead. More healing, more fatigue shit, magic shit, and strength. Nope. Sell it. Ingredients. These we can sell. Or we could use them to make some more potions. But uh, I'm actually gonna sell them. And there must be some kind of mod so you can just... You know, as I said before, sell it without having to click yes all the time. You've made a good... That seems a... Just keep your mouth shut while I throw stuff at you. You've got a great deal. Rat meat. Stinkhorn cap. And wisp stalks caps. Right, what else? Uh, chameleon. Might be good for stealthing shits. The flash bolt. Pretty damn strong. Might use that. But we're probably not going to. So let's a just sell it. transaction. Immortal Blood, that's the book. Let's just sell it. We have already read it, quote unquote. Uh, Petty Soul Gem. I mean, gem, I always say that wrong. Uh, Flawed Ruby, yes, we could sell these. Oh, wait, there is a shop where they um, sell these, so I'm gonna sell it there instead. Sapphire, Silver, give this mark to her. We don't need four torches. <laughs> I don't believe we do. All right, that's all. Um, we don't need anything from her, right? Some iron arrows, expensive ass shit sword. Nope. Thank you. Come again. Maybe, maybe not. Thanks again. Drop, drop, drop. So let's see. Here it is, jewelry. This shop is amazing to um, sneak inside at night and steal all of these jewelry. But as you can see, it's a very hard uh, lock picking skill you will need. But for now. Go ahead, please. I was expecting a female, but I'm not going to be sexist. You do what you want. Dull Groshug always seems at ease in light armor. He moves well in it. All right. Um, can I interest you in some of my wares? You could. I can actually sell my clothes here. Look at that. That's more than I... Uh, give away the Mythic Dawn. Yeah, as you know, it just weighs... And it doesn't look that good. So yeah, you can take the Mythic Dawn hood and row. Sell these. Now, what's funny in Morrowind is that uh, sometimes the shopkeepers will equip the stuff you sell to them. But not in this game, from what I remember. Uh, this guy doesn't take so much, but he doesn't like me. Let's see if he can... Yeah, there we go. Let's see if he wants... Yeah! Awesome. Take my stuff, take my gold, take my sapphire. We get a lot of gold for that. So that's... You got a great deal there. Yep. So let's see, we can buy something else. Highway man, man's shirt. Sounds interesting. Uh, I guess we could buy that and see how it looks. Red pants, nope, spec 
Victor ring. 50,000? Holy shit, look at that. It has some negative things. I hate that. But we can carry 100 more. We're always one-fourth stealthed with the chameleon. Like being um, transparent. Harder to see. We get more sneak and security. But holy crap, that price. Thanks for your business. Maybe if we could uh, steal it from him. Goodbye. We're not going to. I'm just gonna equip my new shirts. Uh, oh no. Did I really buy this one? I'm gonna be shirtless. That's so fucking... No. I guess... No, it, no, no, I'm not going to. Do you know what? Take this. Yes. I'll Take it. Business. Stick it right up your alley. I don't want I that shit anymore. I don't even get a... Uh, what's it called in English? You know, when you... <laughs> uh, regret a decision in shops, you can like turn it back for full price. But not in this game. Fighting chance. All right then, so let's see, where is this shop they're talking about? First edition, nope. This one, copious coin purse. Maybe. Let's see. Oh, look at this. You have some nice stuff. Yes, sir. And, oh, it's so Thornir. Awesome. Uh, you have some, you might have some explaining to do. I'm not on uh, their side yet. What kind of deal can I make for you today? Or we can just take advantage of this and just be a normal customer. Can I interest you in some of my wares? Now that's some kind of pants I would like. But damn, it's expensive. <coughs> a less rude song. <laughs> a lot of books. I like that. I really do. Uh, so let's see. We would like to go to... All of these towns, really. So let's just buy a book for each town. Braville, Broom, Shading Hall, Coral, Leowin. I wouldn't make that deal with just anybody. Uh, I am just you anybody. That for a song. The Imperial City. Sure. The Book of Daedra. No, not yet. Yep, we can buy all this fine. Uh, Cosmetic stuff and some clothes. So let's see if we can find a better type of shirt for us. Vest. Let's just buy them and see how they look. Quilted doublets. Hmm. Felt outfit. Maybe. You shirt with suspenders. <laughs> right. So let's see how that looks. And we could sell. Wow, he takes a good amount of money for this. I like it. And he kind of... <laughs> not really likes me, but... Thank you. Come on. All right, do we have any rumors? The King and Queen Tavern isn't a bad place to stay if you're visiting the city. Mm-hmm. I have the best prices in town. Why? I'm smart, and you're smart. We know the right people. We get the best deals. Ah, uh, should I turn my back on you? I can just ask about the inventory. What about my inventory? I think it's stolen! No, it's a very nice collection. Where did you... I'm just gonna give him a compliment first, so... Very nice selection, Thornair. Well, thank you. It's not only a fine assortment of goods, but a bit of a treasure trove. You never know what I'll have in stock. Hmm. I can see by the look on your face. You wonder where I get all these fantastic items. Yep. I'll tell you what I tell everyone else who asks. It's all about who you know. Oh. My sources are good, but they are secret. Anyway, have fun looking around. And when you are ready to buy, give me a shout. Huh. Unfriendly competition. Goodbye. There is something fishy with this. Or is it? I mean... Hmm... Alright, so let's see what our journal says. We can't even bring it up. Uh, yes, in this game you don't press J for journal. You just go into this section and the cup. And no, not deliver the amulet. We have very much more important things to do. There we go. Speaking to blah blah blah. 
he hasn't revealed any information, so he's obviously hiding something. I should keep an eye on him and watch what he does after his shop closes. We could, but I don't really know when the shop closes. It should be like around 6 p.m., I would guess. All right, uh, you know what? We will do this another time because right now it's um, almost 11 a.m. So it's going to be a long time until he closes his shop and we're not gonna wait. We're gonna do something else in the meantime. So let's go to the arena district. Now this arena, oh, we can, we can spend a lot of time in here and have a lot of fun. Oh, we got some XP for that. Amazing. So the arena, which is also the name of uh, one of the earliest uh, Elder Scrolls games. Uh, let's just uh, talk to him about it. Hello there. Welcome to the arena. I don't think I've ever seen you around here before. I know all the regulars. Believe me. Mm -hmm. If you're looking to join the arena as a combatant, you need to head down to the Bloodworks and talk to Owen, the Blade Master. If you're here to bet on a fight, on the other hand, you're talking to the right man. There are matches all day long, from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. That's a lot of chances to fill your purse with coin. Hmm. So what do you say? You want to bet on a match? Uh, not right now. Oh, all right. Very well, then. If, um, if you need anything, please just ask. I'll be happy to take your bet if you change your mind. What a kind fella. So we can become an arena combatant and battle Have a good day now. against others in here and get money and experience and go up in ranks, get the equipment, all sorts of stuff. And look at these two. <laughs> you don't even reach him. Sorry, friend. No time to talk. My friend Salith and I are training to be combatants in the arena. It takes a lot of dedication to do what we do. Mm-hmm. No talk, no talk, only train. Bronwen and Salith, we become combatants in arena. We fight, we be champions, we be famous. Right, right. Uh, you will just keep on doing that. Now, there is some secret here. If you stay here and look at these two for about half a minute, something will happen. So we're just gonna stay here, look at them, and um, we shall see. We can uh, go ahead and save. Do a quick save. And right after this, I'm going to end this episode. And did someone talk to me? Someone said, how are you? I guess one of these two? I didn't hear anything. Yeah. So this is going to be extremely interesting. Just watch them punch their faces. <laughs> But it's quite boring because uh, they don't really reach each, each other. So if we stand like this, it kind of looks like they hit each other. Oh, by watching the arena hopeful spar, you've picked up a few tips. Your hand-to-hand -hand skill has increased by five points. You hear that, you piece of shit? Yeah. How do you do? I'm doing great. I got five more points in my hand-to-hand -hand combat. I'm so happy. And with that, everybody, I'm gonna end this episode. Thank you very much for watching, and in the next episode, I think we're going to continue running around um, the Imperial City, visiting all these places. Maybe, maybe not. They're not uh, terribly interesting, and there is a lot to do. I don't want to be here too much. I want to go out in the world, you know. We want to do stuff. We want to explore. We want to go here. We want to go up here. We just do whatever we want. So in the next episode we might do that, or we might do that quest with him. We shall see. I shall see you next time, everybody. Thank you, and take care.